Good morning, friends. Welcome to Pray for America. What an honor it is to join together with you to approach the throne of heaven together and lift up our country, our president, our election, and all the things going on in our, in our nation. You know, there's an, there's an old, old song that uh, I think helps to set the, 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 mo the mood for our prayer time. And it is this. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Good morning, Beth. Pleased to see you joining with me this morning. Well, I'm so thankful that we live in America we are part of the kingdom of God. Whatever goes on here is just a portion of our eternal reality. So we want to pray for our nation, for our president, pray for the, the future while basking in the glorious presence of the Lord in the ever-present present. present. You know, um, I was just reading this morning in my devotional, Jesus Calling, and it was about living in the now and leaving tomorrow in the hands of God and choosing to not worry, choosing to trust God for the future. And that's what we want to do. Good morning, Diane. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. Well, let's uh, let's approach the throne together, shall we? Lord, I'm grateful that we don't have to climb up a stairway to heaven. We don't have to work. We don't have to be perfect before we can approach your throne of grace. We don't need a thing. But you did say in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, seek my face, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. And in the New Testament, in the book of Hebrews, Lord, you say, boldly approach the throne of grace. Come boldly. And why do we come boldly, Lord? Because our sins have been forgiven. Because there's nothing between us. Because of the love that you have extended to us. And the gift of the ever-present help of God Almighty. So, Lord, yes, we come to you gratefully. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. We praise you, God. We say, hallowed be your name. Lord, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done. Lord, let your kingdom come in our lives, through our lives, in our land. May your will be done. And it is your will for people to love you, to love one another, to help the widows and orphans. And Lord, all of those things are well described in your word. If you want to know what love looks like, it's displayed beautifully 
in the life of Christ. God is love. God is love. What a joyful truth. Lord, I'm grateful for John 10.10 10 that says, The thief comes to kill, to steal, and destroy. But I have come that they might have life and have it to the full. What a thrill to know, Lord God, that, that you came to give life and to give it to the full. But when we fret about the future, we short-circuit your joy in the present. So instead of fretting about the future, Lord, we've come to pray about the future and to ask that your will would be done in our presidential election. Lord, may your kingdom come in America and your will be done. Lord, would your will be done regarding the innocent slaughter of little babies through abortion. Lord, would you send revival on our land so that people will love you and live in your power. For in your power is self-control. And Lord, I know that if we walk by the Spirit, we will not gratify the lust of the flesh. And if we allow your Spirit to control us, then we will love. And we will not live selfish lives. Lord, I pray for our president. We pray. We turn now to our president, President Donald J. Trump. Dear God, would you encourage him? Would you minister to him, Lord God? Lord, would you allow him to sense your peace, the peace that passes understanding? Lord, indeed, as we pray, 2 Chronicles 7.14, coming to you boldly but with a humble heart, repenting of our sin, turning from our wicked ways, Lord, would you allow that to be President Trump's portion too? O oh, Father, surround him with godly men and women who can love and direct and guide and advise and may he hear from heaven. Lord, all he really needs to, to hear and to know is to hear your voice and know your will and do likewise. Oh God, allow him to detect, to sense, to enjoy, to bask in the presence of his God. Thank you, Father. Thank you that the halls of the White House are filled with men who love you. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you that the goals of our government are good and godly. May, may that truth expand and be ever more true. Lord, we, we pray that men and women everywhere would be revived Oh God, would you send revival in our land? What a thrill to know your presence. What a thrill to feel the presence of God, the gift of the Holy Spirit. Would you pour out your spirit on America, Lord God, and sweep millions into your presence, into your love, into your joy, into your arms. Oh Lord, we, we forget that all of history is heading toward a wedding, a wedding feast in heaven, when you return again and gather up your bride and take her with you to heaven. It'll be phenomenal. And so, Lord, we pray that you will sweep across this land with revival. Let the wind of the Spirit flow 
across our parched and dry land. And Father, pray for rain in the areas of our country that are burning right now. Oh Lord, how sad and tragic it is. So, so many businesses and homes have been consumed by these fires. Dear God, would you please send the rain, tons of it, to put out these terrible forest fires and give our land peace and rest. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We pray for the president and his family, Lord, that you would protect them, that you would surround them with your favor, that you would um, deliver them from temptation, as it says in uh, the Lord's Prayer. Lord, that, that they would forgive anyone that they need to forgive in order to have peace, but also give them wisdom. Give Melania great love. Surround her with, with your, your love and your, your passion, your compassion, Lord. And allow her to rise to do whatever you put on her heart. Because she's, she's just a person. She's married to the President of the United States. <laughs> One could say, I'll bet she didn't see that coming. <laughs> But what an amazing honor that she has to serve in that position. Lord, I pray that America would come to honor Melania Trump, our First Lady. I, you know, I, I remember when President Trump first appeared on the scene as a candidate. It took me a, a long time to wrap my head around that possibility. But Lord, what good things he's done for the freedom of religion in this country. What good things he's done in so many areas. Father, help him. And Lord, now we turn to the current situation, our Supreme Court. And I ask God that you would uh, uphold the confirmation of Amy Barrett Comey. It seems, Comey Barrett, it seems clear, Lord, that that she is someone who would do a good job, seems to me anyway, clear that she would do a good job sitting on that bench. But Father, I pray that the confirmation hearing would go uh, as it should, as you desire, and Lord, in this and everything, I pray your kingdom come, your will be done. Lord, I, I, I love, again, what I read in my devotions this morning that said, don't say we're going here or there and spend a year and do business. Say, if the Lord wills, we're going to do this or that. Well, Lord, we do subject all of our prayers to your will. And our highest prayer, your will be done. But Lord, in some areas, we know your will. We know you, you love to heal people. And so, Lord, I want to take a moment to pray for those that we know who are ill, who are sick. Dear God, would you heal? Specifically, my friend, our friend, Diane Richmond, my friend Joel Balin, my sister Janice, Karen, and all who are fighting illness. Would you heal, God? Would you send forth your power and your healing spirit into their bodies and restore them, God? Would you restore, would you move in their lives? In Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty, holy name. Thank you, God, for all these things, for the amazing honor of knowing you and the joy and thrill of serving you. 
And Father, I pray that you'd give President Trump and Vice President Biden rest today after that boxing match last night, <laughs> the first presidential debate. It was very contentious. And Lord, I, I just uh, I pray that you, your will would be done. Your kingdom would come and your will would be done regarding both of those men. Thank you, Father, for my friends praying with me, for us coming together for 14 minutes of prayer out of 2 Chronicles 7.14. I pray, Lord, that everyone has a, just a wonderful day. And I just remind everybody that I have a Facebook Live show at 5 p.m. It's called The John Morgan Show, and it's just uh, encouragement, perspective, passion, and uh, we get together and talk about the day's events and laugh a lot and and just hang out before dinner for a few minutes at 5 p.m. So stop back by at 5 and say hi and uh, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. In Jesus' name, God bless you. And God bless America.